uh, while there's a lot of innovation happening, a lot of technological innovation happening in the agricultural sector, we need to be aware of the, the, the baggage that comes with some of these technological innovations. Technologies are, are, are never neutral. Uh, they really tend to support particular types of, uh, in this case, agricultural systems and technological systems. And they can come with baggage in that sense, in terms of being biased towards particular types of outcomes. And, um, and here the bias is not just um, technological, but socioeconomic. So um, to the extent that certain technologies lock farmers in to perhaps high input systems, um, that could be in the form of uh, chemical inputs or water irrigation, but also uh, lock into sort of corporate systems uh, and here particularly you know, technologies that are owned and patented by corporations uh, lock farmers into certain contracts uh, and can limit the, the way they use these technologies and, and really take away some of their independence. Uh, and there's a long history of this in, in technological innovation. Uh, the, the other consequence often of, the, of technological innovation is and increases in productivity is that the sort of downward pressure on prices that farmers receive for their crops. So uh, what can seem like a short term gain for farmers can be a long term uh, loss. And that's where the sort of squeezing out of small, small scale farmers has really littered the, the history of agricultural innovation. So we need to be asking those questions and really put these, some of these innovations in a historical context rather than just seeing some of the sort of really abstract promises made for technological innovation and how they're going to allow us to adapt to climate change and so on. But what, what else comes? What other baggage comes with those innovations?